Okay, so welcome back to this video. This video we are going to be uh, be installing uh, cameras one after the other. Right. So the first thing first when you get to your site or when you get to the, the client's uh, house or maybe you want to install it. Once you have figured out the point that you want to install the camera, then if the system the house was not piped on ground, you have to be doing trunking and all of that. First of all, you have to you have to discover the position where the camera will be mounted. Then you have to bring in your trunking. This is your trunking pipe. This is 25 by 50. This is your trunky pipe. Then you have to open the trunky. Yes. Then this is the point I want to install what the camera. This is exactly the point. But what we have to do, then I have to make sure I will bring now. We have come to the point where our plumb is going to be induced now. So this is I want to make sure everything I'm doing is straight and accurate, right? So I'll bring in the plumb and I'll make sure I will plumb my trunky pipe. So if you see it now, for those that know how to use plumb uh, plumb. You see that when the this are uh, liquid, when this liquid is on the middle level, that is what this. So when the uh, the spirit level is in the middle, then you know this uh, trunky pipe is straight. Then what what we have to do now? Then we have to bring in our what our nails. Then you can use a fisher and a rock plug. But now I'm using one each one each nail, then to hold the trunky pipe, right? So this is the hammer. This is what I'm using the hammer to do. Uh, open it like this and drive the nail so you can see it now, right? So, assuming I need another nail, I will bring in what I will bring in my plumb again and make sure what I'm doing is straight. Then I will use another nail on it again. Then, this another nail on it. So, I will make sure I will hit it. So this is it, right? So this is what this is my three by three patches board. I will bring in my cutting saw, right? So remember, it will be here. Since it will be here, I have to open up a passage for the cable to pass through. So this is it. Then this is it, right? So so you cut uh, a little uh, space for the cable to pass. Bring in your plier. Then you will now use your plier to what to remove it. Then you now place it like this. I hope you are seeing it. But it doesn't stop there. Bring in your what? Plum. Come and plumb it again. I hope you are seeing it. Exactly. The spirit level is in the middle. So this is what your plum is giving you. If, the, if it's like this, that means it's not correct. The spirit level is at the ending. It must be in the middle. That means like this. So this is our boss. It's accurate. So it's straight. Then remove it and we, we marked. You can mark the four edge, right? Or let's say let's just give marking to two edge. Let's give marking to two edge. So we have marked our two edge. So if you have a drilling machine, this is a drilling bit. We call it a plug. You can see the amount of it at the ending. If you have a drilling machine, fine. You drill this place, drill this place, then you create a hole for what what you are installing. So now I'm drilling a hole. So I've created a hole in this place. Then again, the next thing you'll be doing is what? Is bring, putting your fish through or your fish apex. Some people call it fish apex. Put your fish through on it by placing it inside. So put it, placing it inside. Then, then you bring in your screw, right? You bring in your screw. These are normal uh, black screws. These are black screws. Yes. So this is what I'll be using for the installation. But first of all, because as at when I drill this place, I cut out some uh, loopholes inside. I have to guide. I have to guide this our uh, what our uh, drill hole so that when, whenever I am installing on it, it will be very strong. So maybe when you experience any hollow block or any place that is a little bit soft, you have to extra guide your uh, things again. So this is what we do here, and we bring in our boss. Remember, these are patches boss. We bring it in. And you bring it in, and uh, what you screw it inside. What's this?
So this is uh, where we store the bus, right? All right. So this is our we can now bring in our cable, place our cable on it. Then this is our cable, right? So we after placing our cable, right? Then this then our cable then we cover it. We cover it. So we have uh, what cable here, right? So we have to, this is the data cable power supply. Then we have to bring in what? These are knife. So these are knife. We have to open this cable. Look gently as I'm doing it. Bring it, this cable. Just put it a little bit on the tip of the cable. Don't press it inside, right? Then you can bring in your hand, bend it and open the cable up. Then inside this cable, you are seeing strands, right? This is a strands. So this data cable, we have the positive side and we have the negative. These strands are what the negative of the quasia cable. This is a quasia cable. Then you can see it. We have two different cables here. This one, we have the coating that distinguish other separate between the positive, which is inner conductor, and the and this strands is what a silver coating or a silver cover, sorry, aluminum cover. We have the other one that is what copper like this. We'll see it in the other camera that we saw. So what you will now do now is also make sure you place it on this place. Then make sure you remove this from the body so that it will not be uh, touching each other. Just try to remove this uh, coating aluminum uh, cover from it, right? So you open it like this. Then you have you successfully have these two. Uh, negative and positive from this cable, right? So the next thing you will do, remember, this is a BSC connector. This is a wired BSC connector. And what you have here is red and blue. I've said it uh, uh, in the other of my video, that in this cable, if you see color coding like this, then let's try to remove, strip it a little bit. Let's see what is inside. We have two. So these two cable, right? The red is a word positive. The blue is a negative. So let's strip this cable and connect it to our what? our cable, our camera cable. So we connect it like this, right? So we're now bringing this cable. We bring in this cable, you see that our blue, let's connect the blue to the negative side of this cable. Our blue, blue cable to the negative side, right? So we connect it like this, right? Connect it like this, like this, like this, right? Yes, so we connect it like this. Then you have to bring in what your cell tape and do what these are cell tape. I have to use to cover it to avoid the two uh, different lines, positive and negative, uh, from bridging or touching each other. Because once they do, our camera will not be showing uh, what we have connected. So this is it. Place your cell tape on it and cell tape it. Make sure you cover it, cell tape it very well. So this is it, right? So this is it. Then I go ahead, I connect what my positive to the this uh, positive of the cable, right? So this is it. All uh, right. You can also use your plier if you don't. Uh, you can also use your plier, which is a professional thing to do. Then this is the system, right? So this is it. I hope we are all seeing it clearly. This is it. So these are it should be. These are it should be. So I hope we are seeing it clearly. So make sure the two are separated. This is it. The two are separated. I continue with my what? Continue with my uh, cell tape. Then I cannot bring this like this to give a, a good uh, output or a good uh, uh, outside the connection. I will now have it like this. So I've successfully connected the connector that will be connected to our camera in this one. So the next point, the next thing we have here is our power supply. So bring your 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 Plier, you have this one is very correct. This one is red and black. So strip the cable a little bit, just put the plier a little bit, strip it, right? So open it up. Then remember, I said we have a wireless power plug. Is a wireless. 
this is a wire cone. We'll be using the two, but let's use the one, the wire cone first. So this is a wire, red goes to red, and this is a mix of red and black, but this is negative, this goes to the black. So, right, so we bring our plier, right? So this is neat. We bring our plier like this, we open it, then we do what? We open it, then we connect our red first, red to red, right? So this is it. This is it, red to red. Red to red, this is it, right? Red to red. So we bring what our cell tape again. So we open our cell tape and do what? And uh, connect it, uh, our cell tape, and we cover it, right? So this is our what? Our black. We bring in this, our black. So this uh, black, we put it, uh, we connect it together like this. You can actually be using plier to do this connection, right? You can use plier to do this connection. Then you you turn it like this, and you can bring the cell tape also together together with it and cover it too, right? So this is also our what our power supply uh, cable. On this camera so this is it so this is what we have here right so this is what we have here so by this we have successfully connect both our dnc and what our supply our data to our bnc and our power supply to this cable so all we need now is what the camera that will be fixed in this place so we now bring in the camera remember this are our purchase box these are purchase box then this camera will be fixing in this place right so we need this then first of all we have to pass through these are uh, a cover we have to pass this through pass it through the system and what then we come here then this are power plug remember these are power plug of the camera connected to the power plug this was our bsc connector the camera we connect it to this BNC connector this one will not be connected is a reset button right so we do what we place everything inside and we cover it. First, first, first. So after connecting the basic connector to the Quasar cable and power supply, so we try to uh, fold everything inside this bus, right? Inside this bus. Just watch me as I'm doing it inside this bus and uh, get it like this. So this is how it should be. This is how it should be. Everything should be in this bus. Everything should be in this box. Everything should be in this box like this. I have to bring my screw of the box, right? And do what? And screw the cover. The cover of the box to it. Then make sure where you are, where you are folding everything inside in the packless box. Make sure that you, you did not enjoy the camera cable. It can cause breach or not functioning well, right? So you have to be very careful in your installation to avoid errors that will lead or mistakes that might damage either the camera or your gadgets. So you should be extra careful when handling the uh, camera systems. So it doesn't stop there. The next thing we'll do is we'll bring we bring screw to, uh, to hold this holder. This is the camera holder. You remove it and you place it uh, like this. Then you use a uh, black screw to hold it. That's what I cut this. So you bring in your black screw, very short screw, like half inch a black screw, or whichever one you want to use, but it should not be that long screw because it might injure the cable inside. Then you place it on the cover. Then try to apply force on it so that it will enter. It's as if you are drilling. The battery was apply force a little bit so that it will do what it will enter. So this is it. You can see it. You can decide to use one depends. You can decide to use two depends. So this is it also. This is it. So this this is this is it. Hope you can see it very strong, right? So this is it. So you now break in your camera and you do what? Bring in your camera and you hear it in so this is it so we have successfully installed this camera 
right? So the next thing is to do is to position it and see what we are doing, right? So this is how to install a camera. Are we together? So the first thing is to, to know where if the camera will be, which is the point. The second thing to do is to what to trunk your uh, where it's going to be so that your cable will be, be on trunk so your solution will be neat. It should not be ordinary the cable on the wall with clip. No, get an a trunky cable or a PVC conduit pipe. Then the, the third thing is to install your bus and prepare your cover for the bus. It can be three by three bus, it can be four by four patches bus. Right? Yes. So the 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 number three thing to do is to connect your BSC connector to the cable and your power supply plug to the cable. Right? So the next thing to do after then is to what? To bring in the camera, fix it on the cable, then uh, cover the bus and also uh, install the camera on top of the bus. So that is the next thing to do. So now we are going to install the other camera and also uh, whatever anything we have to install, we install them now. They will come to our gadget where we have our DVR. We connect everything on the DVR and where our power supply will be coming from here, we connect everything on the power supply. So watch me as we continue in this installation.